Hello. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up your fuel management if you're set up as a commission agent for a jobber. Usually this applies when you are not the ownership of the gas, but you sell the gas on behalf of an agent and you get commission on it, whether it be three cents, five cents, or in some cases, no commission at all. So when you're in this system, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your settings are set properly and that you're set to commission agent. In order to do that, go to configure your stores and go into the step where we have the third step where it basically asks you for your gas settings now if you set it up as a you know you don't sell gas that will basically mean you don't even have gas in your store uh, if it's an ownership gas that means that you set your own prices you get the deliveries when you want and you, you, know, you control your fuel uh, costs when it's an agent gas you're basically specifying how much commission you're getting uh, and if you have a blended tank, uh, so if you're basically getting a delivery of your mid-grade separately, then you say separate tank. But if your mid-grade is a blend of both the plus and the regular, then you set it up as a blend. And you set your ratios as well. And if you're selling diesel, you go ahead and apply your diesel as well. And how do you how you pay your jobber, whether it's an EFT or a check? Most of the time when you're an agent gas, is typically EFT'd. And you can select which bank account it's EFT'd from. If you do have gas cash cards, such as Shell cash cards or Chevron cash cards, where you're actually selling them on behalf of the jobber, go ahead and set this to yes. Um, and then, you know, go ahead and click next, 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 and then just finish this off. And then you know your gas is properly set. Now, in order to verify that it is properly set, you can go into gas settings and you can see over here that it's set up as an agent gas. Over here, you can also specify additional tanks if you have any. So for example, if you have more than one tank or more than three tanks, uh, you have additional tank for your you know, ethanol or something like that, you can set it over here and specify it. While we're at the screen, you'll notice that there's some information over here. Uh, this only again applies if you have a you know ownership gas and if you want emails on your gas pre uh, price changes. And then the settlement information is obviously over here again, which we already covered earlier. So once this is set up, um, all you have to do since you're an agent gas is assuming you're doing your day reports on a regular basis, which we covered in the previous video, you just have to go into gas, payments, add a payment. And this is when you're doing it for the first time. And all you're doing in this case is selecting which day, which day the jobber is charging you for. And you'll see over here the gallons you sold for that day and the amount you sold for that day. And then which day he's giving you credits for. And you'll notice over here it's the credit card batches that came through your system. Now, if you have the credit card fees, you can apply them by going into tender types, uh, credit card, and then ba update batch fees. Or what you can do is when you ever select this, you can just put in your fees as a lump sum over here. If you have gas cash cards, obviously you'll see them on this list and you can apply them over here. And at the end of the day, you just want to make sure that the net payment that you've made matches or the amount of money that's coming into your account, whether it's a draft or a deposit, it matches exactly what our system is saying over here. And this is the best way to make sure and reconcile and confirm that you're indeed getting all of your gas batches credited to you, especially your credit card batches. So once you've done that bit of it, uh, you know, all the reports are available over here. You don't have to worry about tank reports or anything like that. You don't have to do any inventory adjustments, manage delivery, none of that stuff, right? You're just simply uh, looking at reports. Now there's a dashboard report that you can look at, which will kind of tell you what your sales history has been. When I go into this and go into reports, I'll see that I can run my gas profit report, or let's say I want to run it for February run the report and in this case because I'm set up as a zero dollar commission agent my profit is obviously zero down the line uh, with no profit but at least I can see what my sales were by gallons uh, and dollar amount over here I can also see my cash card log if I if I do supply cash cards in this case because I'm not supplying any cash cards everything is just showing up as zero all of these reports are ex uh, exportable into Excel or you can even print them out right from the screen so gas management becomes very simplified if you have your own, uh, if you don't have your own gas and you're basically commission agent. So that's how gas works if you're a commission agent and you don't actually own your own gas. If you have any questions, please feel free 
to contact C-Store Pro at 281-265-2299. Thanks, guys.